uh, Tony, I don't know how much how close you follow the world of like stand up or anything, but I found this interesting, so I wanted to play it. It's a story that's been around forever in stand up. Uh, since Mark Norman started to get even a little bit popular, this story was out there that Sherrod Small choked him out. Do you remember? Oh, remember Opie's buddy, Sherrod Small? Uh, Are you talking to me or, or Hack Ride? Either of you. Oh, okay. I do but, not. Oh, okay. Opie used but to I probably, do... I probably will either recognize the voice or whatever image. Well, you know? yeah. So Opie used to do a show, like when he left Jim Norton, he would do a show with uh, Vic Henley, Sherrod Small, and then eventually uh, Carl Ruiz were his guys. And Sherrod was one of those guys. And I never thought he was great on the radio or podcast, um, but he was whatever. He's had a long, uh, somewhat successful stand-up career. He's uh, Chris Rock's cousin. So, uh, you know, lovely for him. I'm sure he has an audience. But I'd always heard this story and thought it was very weird. But I'd never heard Norman address it. I'd, I've heard it addressed only in um, the terms of like, oh, we can't talk about that. It's like, oh, you guys know what happened with Sherrod and Mark. Okay, so one of these guys is not Chris Rock's cousin, I'm guessing. No, no, no. This okay. is uh, Mark Norman, <laughs> Sam Merrill, and right. Joe List. Uh, now, recently. if one of these guys was Chris Rock's cousin, I would say the guy all the way on the left. But that's just me. It's possible, but but uh, no, these that guys are talking. Joe List on the left. <laughs> it is oh, not Chris. And uh, and we might be drunk. The three of them. Joe List was out promoting his special. Go watch that. It was terrific, by the way. I wrote a review out on Patreon, blindmike.net, if you want to check that out. That's Joe List on the left. Um, Correct. Yes, Joe oh, List on the left. A... Mark Mark Norman in the middle, and I don't know who was on. He's Simmer. a bit of a taller drink of water than I thought he was. Sure. Yes. We're getting bogged down in the details here. I just hey, want to hear this story where uh, Mark Norman talks about his incident with Sherrod Small. So they were talking about an incident where Rich Voss beat up uh, a young comedian for making fun of his kids at the Comedy Cellar uh, oh like some God. Christmas party years ago. Um, it, New York. Rich Voss gave this guy like a fucking spinning kick in the chest or something like that. Shut up. Really? Yeah. So wow. this guy, Jason Cantor, was shit-faced and uh, was talking shit about, like made some, some joke about dating Voss's kids or fucking Voss's daughter or something like that. And I guess Voss came back up to him when he was retelling the story. And Voss goes, you talking shit? And Joe List tried to like hold his Voss's arms back and be like, no, he's kidding around. And Voss spin kicked him in the chest. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so they were talking about that story. And then this thing with Sherrod Small comes up. So I thought it was interesting because I've never heard Norman talk about it before. You know, I've, I've been tuned up at the cellar a few times, and uh, I still prefer that. Right. If you say something fucked up, I yeah. remember your guy, yeah, you called me after that guy yeah. was choking you. Yes. At the cellar. And, you know, you're all hopped up like, holy shit, that was crazy, but that's still better. I, I We worked it out. You so, know? You, so we won't say who it was, but there was a guy on stage. Yeah. And Josh Gondelman. <laughs> 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 but he was a guy on stage running the light. Yeah. It's a late show. You're getting annoyed. You shit on him on stage. Yeah. It's hitting. You get off stage. He greets you with like a high five and yeah. then pulls you in and starts choking you. Yeah, yeah, basically. And and stat he's a strong guy. Yes, and I didn't see it coming. It was all like uh out of my I had no idea. Then you said you were gonna fuck his kid. Yeah. And then <laughs> um no, then you <laughs> you uh but he had he was it, how long did it take you guys to be good after that? Uh well, you know, it probably I don't know six months, but we we never saw each other. We just kept you know we just kept uh, passing in the night, and then one day it was just like, fuck it, let's just talk, and it was totally fine. And I'm all so, you know, I'm not. It's it's interesting. We finally have the, like the details of what happened now, but I just think it's so interesting that a comedian like, and that, that's what's tough. Where like people are like, oh, this person's sensitive, or with social media, this person's sensitive, whatever. It's like comedians of the comedy cellar that pretend to be these tough guys will still choke people out <laughs> for making a joke about that. Like a spindly little guy like Mark Norman made some jokes about Trod Small, and he went up to him and fucking choked him out after a young comedian at the time. Out. I get that's the way they depicted it. That he like fucking put hands on, put his hand around his throat. Okay. Well, look. That's different than choking someone out, dude, to the point of unconsciousness. That's a little True. bit more advanced. Yeah, no, you're right. I, I don't think it was to that level. You're right. But you're going to sue just... anybody or anything. I hate all that shit. Yeah. Let's just work it out like adults. Yeah. We can work it out. There you go. The mule kick. Oh, I remember when I was doing the, the shit talking on stage. Godfrey was on the floor slapping the floor going, ah! 
Ah, you, you fucked up. You're gonna, you fucking up, man. Like he was like trying to warn me. Like you're done. You're, he's gonna kill you. And I thought I, I thought I was killing with Godfrey. I was like, hey, I'll keep it going. Imagine Godfrey being the last thing you see, <laughs> slapping the floor. <laughs> And that encourages you, like, all right, I'll keep going. Then. <laughs> all right, well, let's do this. <laughs> there was a great on uh, Patreon. We just rewatched the Rich, the roast of Rich Voss, and uh, Bob Kelly makes a joke about uh, Godfrey fucking Bonnie McFarlane, Voss's wife, <laughs> and Anthony Kumi yells from the crowd, uh, "Don't worry, Voss, it was Gilbert," <laughs> <laughs> which was a very funny line. But yeah, I thought it was. I, I just wanted to play that because I thought for any of you comedy fans out there. Um, I thought it was interesting to finally get that story out there. I'm now, a big fan of comedy. Well, then hopefully you found it interesting. I don't know. <laughs> you know, actually, right now, my favorite comic is a guy named Matteo Lane. Is that right? Yeah, I like Matteo Lane because I'm, I'm, we're covering a lot of his cooking, and then I've seen just some of his stand-up. Very comfortable. Oh, you interesting. Know? I don't yeah. know any of his stand-up. I've heard him as a guest on podcast. I think he's like, okay, if it's a podcast I like already, I'll listen when he's on. Uh, I've yeah. never shot him out, but is his stand up good? It, it is. It really is. Very punchy. Um, I mean, he's he's very with it. Does some great crowd work, and he speaks like five languages. I knew so, that. Yeah, he's very very talented guy. He's a great singer. He's yeah. jacked. I know that. <laughs> he's cooking. He's cooking on the shows. So, yeah. you know, we covered like uh, he actually makes a the real fettuccine Alfredo. As I do the John quotes here, I'm doing some quotes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So he he has the. Uh, you know, his own cooking show. So he shows you the real methods. And then he has some trips in Rome where it'll show you how to really order coffee in Italy. Really interesting. Check out Matteo Lane, guys. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know, uh, Jared Freed just put out a special. And I've meant to, maybe I'll do it today. I've meant to uh, write a review and put it on Patreon. Uh, Jared Freed put out a Netflix special that was actually like very good for um, people have messaged me before and said like, hey, oh, you know what we were talking about is uh, Matt Reif, how successful Matt Reif is. Mm -hmm. And people will message me and be like, God, my girlfriend likes Matt Reif. Like, do I've I never even seen him and I've heard his name. So he must well, be doing well. He's doing very well, but he's he's got no material. His material is very bland, but he's super successful because he's like a young guy that does crowd work. Very handsome. A good looking yes. guy. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yes, he is guy. fabulous to jerk off to. Well, <laughs> he's, yes. he's gorgeous. Well, mm, let's not mince words here. He's, he's we, hot as hell. He's the prettiest. Is the prettiest woman comic I have ever seen. Mm. So, so people have messaged me and been like, lady. <laughs> "Should uh, should should like I take my girlfriend to his show just to get her into comedy in some way?" And a mm. guy I think is a good example of that is Jared Freed, where like he is, he's like he kind of comes off as like a frat guy that you can get along with. Like there's a little there's a splash of douche in him. But like he's all right, he's a funny guy and everything. You you feel like you could hang out with him, and he does a lot of like relatable dating material and everything. It's not the most like unique top, at least as far as topics. It's not the most unique shit you've ever seen in the world. But like if you're trying to get your girlfriend into comedy or something, check out Jared Freed, thirty seven and single. I thought it was actually very good on Netflix. But anyways, enough of that. Um, Hackride, what do you think? Should we? Tom Myers needs you're, a bit. You're of producing like today. Pete, Should we go too. to Tom Myers? Christina P has some good stand up. Christina P? Yeah, she's pretty good. I don't I don't love her stand up to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, you know. But I'll tell you I'll tell you who stand up I like. Yes. 